What's going on everyone? This is Jericho Supporter here and I got a Halo Reach video for you guys. Sorry for the lack of um my videos because I've been busy. Um I recently got to borrow Black Ops and Bullet Storm from two friends and I've been trying to play those games because I wanted to play them. And I'm trying to finish Bullet Storm before I give it back to my friend because the game is really fun and Due to that reason and playing some other games and I'm also almost done with my book, I'm like 75% done with it, I've been pretty much busy and just tired. I don't really feel like posting videos. And I know that E3 is pretty much like the hottest topic to talk about right now in the gaming world. To be truthfully honest, I didn't really like this year's E3. I think it's even worse than last year. I pretty much couldn't stand any of the conferences I thought they were all boring because both Microsoft and Sony they just focus on their on their what is it the motion control thing that's that's what they pretty much just focused on and it was just boring man until I saw Nintendo's conference Nintendo pretty much saved the day I was really impressed with what they had to offer with what they had to offer and what they wanted to show but if they're are something that I was really interested in this year's E3 that is the release of Halo 1 remake and Halo 4 the Halo 1 remake is called Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary and I'm a little bit mixed with it first of all I'll tell you the good parts um, the graphics they look amazing I mean I did not expect the graphics to look that detailed I mean I thought it was just gonna be like a small upgrade but it is a lot better than I thought I mean wow you also have a button where you can go back to the old halo engine and you can see like how much the graphics look and all and another good thing is the online co-op there's also wait let me see there's also gonna be these terminals and campaign so it kind of expands the story for the campaign. I think that's pretty cool. I'm going to be trying trying to find that. But that's pretty much all the good parts. The bad parts, well, it's not really bad, but I was really hoping Halo 1, the remake, would have a multiplayer based on Halo 1, but it doesn't have any... But it doesn't have that. It does have seven... It It's going to have online multiplayer, but they're based, it's basically a map pack for Halo Reach. It's just seven... Halo 1 remade maps for Halo Reach and that's kind of like a slap in the face man I know a lot of people that loves Halo 1 for the multiplayer component and they all want one thing online cape online functionality and I pretty much want that too because I never got to play Halo 1 multiplayer that much the only time I can play it is if I got a couple of friends that's pretty much the only time I can play it other than that I just play Halo 1 for the campaign and I do enjoy it, but I also love the multiplayer too. It's really fun, and I do enjoy playing Halo Reach, Halo 3, and Halo 2. They are similar, but they also got some differences that kind of makes them feel different from other Halo games. But Halo 1, man, it's probably like the most balanced one and the most funnest one out of all the Halo games. And you're probably wondering, oh, well, why, is, why is more maps for Halo Reach is a bad thing? Well let's just say Halo Reach in the Halo community is pretty much a hated or a love it game in the multiplayer section a lot of people didn't like Halo Reach because the lack of ranked playlist um, the bloom armor abilities a lot of people didn't like the map and s I mean the maps and so on I personally think Halo Reach is a very solid game but but it's not like the best online game. I would say Halo 1 is the best online and the best single player game. And it's really sad that I'm not going to be able to play Halo 1 online. Except just for the single player. Apparently I read that there's like a dedicated playlist for that. I mean yeah like a dedicated playlist that will somewhat give you a similar Halo 1 experience. I don't know if that's really true but I think that would be pretty cool another thing I didn't really like about um that Halo 1 remake what was it I'm trying to remember um oh god I forgot I'm gonna take a little pause I'm trying to remember what I was trying to talk about
Yeah, I don't remember it. Shit. Well, I'll just talk to you about the game. Well, this game, it was a really good game, but <laughs> the funny thing is everyone was rocking a one bar in this game. That's why a lot of people started leaving. And I don't know whose host was it. I was I felt like I was the host, but I, I don't think so cuz my shots were kind of delayed, my grenades were kind of delayed and all that stuff. I don't know whose host was it, but it was a really bad host. And this I usually don't post videos of this type of Team Slayer. It's called Elite Slayer. It's really fun. It's just like t regular Team Slayer except you're playing as an Elite ex instead of a Spartan. Usually when I play Elite Slayer, I just abuse the class with the needle rifle because I love that gun and the needle rifle is basically an all-purpose weapon, so why wouldn't you use it? I do use the holographic, oh, not the holographic, the hologram class at times, but I abuse the shit out of the needle rifle. And I really hate how theater mode kind of like switches back to third person at times. At times, it's kind of annoying. And the main reason why I didn't switch it back to first person, because I was getting myself some food, and then when I came back, to the video and I'm like oh shit what the hell man it's a third person <laughs> I wish they fixed that but it's just a small issue and yeah that's pretty much all I really got to talk about um I'll talk more about the game this map Boneyard I don't know about this map but every time I play this map I always get good games and I really like it and I personally love the big team slayer um, on Halo Reach more than Halo 3. When I play Halo 3, everyone just picks Valhalla and I just can't stand that map. I hate that map. Every time I play that map, I just want to leave so badly. The only map I really wanted to play back in Halo 3 was kind of like Sand Trap. A couple of Sand Trap made maps, if you would say. I don't really remember them because I didn't play um, Big Team Slayer that much in Halo 3. I, us I usually played multi-team um, regular Team Slayer and Social Slayer, and that was a failed plasma charge. But yeah, I am looking forward to um, Halo Combat Anniversary. Ah, Combat Evolved Anniversary. It does look pretty interesting. Um, oh yeah, now I remember what I wanted to say. It's gonna be forty dollars. I don't really think it's gonna be worth it for forty dollars. I'm basically just getting seven maps, which are worth for twenty dollars. Um, Every Halo map pack that's released, it, it it gives you three maps, so and they're ten dollars each. And I'm gonna have a ten-year-old campaign with better graphics for forty dollars. I don't really know about that, man. I mean, that's really hard. I don't like I said, graphics should not make the game, man. And I already have the game on PC and Xbox, so yeah, for forty dollars, I don't know if they add the. Oh, what is it? If they add all the Halo Reach map packs, I would totally buy it. I mean, $30 for extra maps and $10 for a 10-year-old campaign. And, and with better graphics, that's totally worth it. But, I don't know, man. It's still, it's still too early to, like, judge on the game. So, I'm still gonna see if there are gonna be any more features in the game. I don't know. Apparently, in, like, August... 343 and industry they're gonna confirm more stuff about Halo Anniversary and, ha and Halo 4. My opinions on Halo 4, uh, it was kind of unsuspected. I didn't really expect it another Halo game. I thought there was gonna be another trailer in like 2012, but it looks pretty interesting. And I'm looking forward to it, I guess. There's not too many games I'm really looking forward this year. So yeah, Halo 4 seems to be pretty cool, but there's just something about about the game that I'm not too excited about. I don't know why. And the game, the actually the video is about to be over, and I'm gonna continue it later on. So see you guys later.